Welcome, welcome back on AnyHelp at C squared. In this example, we have to find limit when x approach negative infinity of x plus square root of x squared plus 1. And if you notice, if we plug negative infinity here, we have negative infinity plus infinity, which is an undefined form. So in order to solve this limit, we have to use an algebraic process. And for that reason, I'm going to rewrite this expression you see here uh, in a fraction form with a denominator of 1. And now I'm going to rationalize the denominator. So this will be x minus the conjugate of the given expression, x squared minus 1 over the same expression here, be careful. Now, this expression here is nothing else than number one, that's the reason we can do what we did. And this problem becomes limit on x approach infinity of, now, whenever you multiply these two guys, we have a special pattern, right? You notice this is a plus b, this is a minus b, and that will be a squared minus b squared. So in our case, it will be x squared minus x squared plus 1 over 1 minus x minus square root of x squared minus 1. And we can simplify here, limit when x approach infinity of x squared minus x squared minus 1 over x minus square root of x squared minus 1. The next thing we can do is to simplify these x squares and we have limit when x approach negative infinity. In fact, we should be careful. And we have here negative 1 over x minus square root of x squared minus 1. And if you notice here, if we replace x with negative infinity, we get negative 1 over negative infinity minus infinity. So that will be 0 here. So limit when x approach negative infinity of x plus square root of x squared plus 1 is 0. You can notice that in the picture here, once x is getting smaller and smaller, approaching negative infinity, the graph is getting closer and closer to the uh, x-axis, which is y equals 0. If you enjoyed this video clip, don't forget to click the like button and come back and see square for more help. Thank you.